it's hard. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old and working on a job for 17 years and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay and you got to start all over again. It's hard when you're married and raising children and your children are crawling and your husband dies unexpectedly. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. We have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down, but ultimately, it's on us. You got to get up. You know, people might laugh at me when I work out, and I'm really working out. I'm just a fat boy working out. What am I supposed to do? Not work out? I fell when I did a sit-up. That's the key. Basically, what I'm saying is stay focused on that path. I'm not going to change who I am. I'm only going to change to be greater. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's, that's what separates them. When they don't have no more. When it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime. That's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's you. You gotta make that happen. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You to live your dream, to make this, this greatness that you have within you become a reality. But what I've come to appreciate when you're working on changing your life, changing some bad habit, getting out of addictive situations or relationships, or working to build a dream or making a difference in our society. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's gonna get lighter. The, the, weight, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is, you got to find something within. You got to find something within, and that's got to push you, and that's got to elevate you, and that's got to drive you, and that's got to move you. But 
you have got to to own what it is that you want to do if it's taking care of your well-being. And when you find out what your why is, and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas. Unquestionably, you must have faith. It's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it.